Hi, I'm Rainy with Finance Strategists. In this lesson, we're going to cover Inventory turnover ratio is an efficiency ratio showing the rate at which a company sells and replaces its inventory in a given period. A ratio of 5 means the company has sold and replaced its inventory 5 times for the period. The formula to calculate inventory turnover ratio is inventory turnover ratio equals cost of goods sold divided by average inventory where cost of goods sold equals total costs incurred by the company in bringing the product to market. This value is found on the income statement. Average inventory equals average of inventory held by the company. It is generally calculated as the sum of inventory between a starting and ending period, divided by two to account for seasonality. This value is found on the balance sheet. For example, suppose company ABC reports $500,000 in cost of goods sold. At the beginning of a year, it has inventory worth $150,000. By its end, the company has inventory worth $120,000. Therefore, its average inventory for the year equals $150,000 plus $120,000 divided by 2, which equals $135,000. ABC's inventory turnover ratio equals 500,000 divided by 135,000, which equals 3.7. The inventory turnover ratio is a measure of how quickly a company can convert inventory to sales and reduce costs associated with maintaining and storing the inventory. In the earlier example, ABC is making sales equal to 3.7 times its inventory. A high figure for the ratio means the company is efficient and it keeps inventory costs to a minimum, whereas a low ratio generally translates to high inventory costs. However, that may not always be the case. A high inventory turnover ratio can also imply insufficient inventory. For example, ABC may not always have enough inventory on hand to manufacture its products, and therefore its sales outpace inventory figures. Some industries have low inventory ratios due to the nature of their operations. For example, companies in manufacturing have low ratios because inventory costs are high relative to overall manufacturing prices. On the other hand, retail companies have relatively higher inventory ratios since their business model depends on maximizing sales relative to shelf space. Therefore, it is always better to compare ratios between companies in the same industry. Investors like to know the inventory turnover rate to determine how efficiently one company is performing against the industry average and is particularly useful for the retail industry. Let's hear from you. Which company among the following do you think has the highest inventory turnover ratio and why? A grocery store, a bicycle manufacturer, or a bookstore? Leave your answer in the comments below. For more information, visit www.financestrategist.com. Finance Strategists, strategies for your future.